Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Armin, and in today's video, I'll be going over how to make animated letters in HitFilm Express. So, right now on screen, you'll be seeing what we'll be making today, and it's really simple. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the letter A, but this really applies to any letter. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new composite shot. We're just going to name this letter A. So once we're in our composite shot, we're going to go ahead and go up here to um, text, and we're going to go ahead and just create some. So I'm just going to create the letter A, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. And I'm going to change the font, and I'll have the font linked in the description below if you would like to follow along with the same font that I'm using. So there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and size this up so we can see it better. And we're going to go ahead and center it. And there we go. So here is our letter A. And to get started, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this so there are three of them. The reason why I'm duplicating to three of these is because there are three main parts of an A. There is the left line, the right line, and the middle bottom line. So this will depend on like whatever letter you're using. So if you're using an R for say, it will go up, um, it will we'll have the left line, and then it will come curved around the right side, and then another line going down. So there will also be three main parts of that one. So it just depends on what letter you're using. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So since we have three letter A's, we're going to go ahead and rename these. So we're going to rename the bottom one to A left. We're going to rename the middle one to A middle. And then the top one we'll rename to A right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to make these two layers invisible. So now we'll only have A left. So we're going to go ahead and select A left, and we're going to go up here to our freehand mask tool. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on our A. And we're just going to go ahead and doing an outline around the left line. So right here, it's going to go around the left line. Doesn't really matter how far you go out on the left because there's nothing beside it. But when you get up to here, you're going to go ahead and go over to right there. And then you're going to go ahead and bring it down to right here. So you want to make sure that you have a perfectly, almost perfectly straight line. So that looks about good right there. So we can go ahead and start bringing it down. So right here, you don't really want to cut off, cut off too much of the middle line because that's going to be its own layer. So right here, we can see that we have like a little bit poking out from the middle line. So we can just go ahead and grab these two points and bring them in. Just like that. So now if we go ahead and zoom back out, now all we have is our left line. But as you can see, it's a little clipped off up here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and zoom back in, select our mask, and then we're going to go ahead and pull this line out right here until it's straight. So now we have our left line done. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty straight. So now we can go ahead and um, make the layer A middle visible. So bring back the whole A, but what we're going to do is we're now we're going to create a mask for that one. So make sure to select A middle because you do not want to create another mask for A left. Choose your freehand mask tool and let's go ahead and go down here. And for the A middle line, you want to go a little bit into the left line. So we don't uh, clip off too much. So we can go ahead and go in. And like for the left side though, we are going to create it so it's almost perfect. So that looks good right there. And now if we go ahead and zoom back out, we have basically half of our A. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, make the layer A right visible. And then we're going to create a mask for it. So if we go ahead and select A right, go to our freehand mask tool, zoom in, and then we can go ahead and select our key points around A right. So 
So there we go. So now if we go ahead and look at this, it looks like nothing has changed. But if we go ahead and get rid of A right, this whole line disappears. If we go ahead and get rid of A middle, that line disappears. If we go ahead and get rid of A left, the left line disappears. So now we're going to go ahead and animate these. So we're going to start with A, um, we're going to go ahead and start with A left. So what we're going to do is we're going to make A left come from the bottom and come up. So we can go into the mask settings and go to transform, select position, and then we can go ahead and choose our position. So we're going to go ahead and bring it down, just like that, and then over to the left. Just about like that. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in on our timeline a little bit, and we're going to go in, let's see, we'll go in about 50. Just like that. And we can go ahead and set these points back to zero, 0, which is the main spot that it was at, at the beginning. So now if we go ahead and watch our animation, it comes in like that. But see how it's clipping off part of it? We need to change that. So we can go into our beginning settings, and we can see that it's not over to the right that much. So we can just go ahead and change that to go over to the right. We can mess around with this setting until it looks about perfect. <laughs> So I think that looks good about right there. You can go ahead and watch it. So right here we just get an A, uh, the left line sliding in. But now we need to work on the middle line. So we can go ahead and select A middle. And then we can go ahead and go into the mask settings and choose transform. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and wait until the left line is where it goes over where the middle line is. So about right here. So we can go ahead and choose the position and make it go to the left away from that line. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and go over about, let's say about 40. We go ahead and make the mask, uh, the position of it zero to the original spot. So now we get this. Just like that. So now what we're going to do is we can go ahead and animate the left line. So right about here is where I want the left line to start coming down. So we can go up here to A right, uh, sorry, the, the right line, not the left line. We can go ahead and select A right, open up the mask settings, go to transform, select position. So now I'm going to set the keyframe, um, we, first we got to position this. So we're going to bring it up, and then to the left. And then we're going to go up a little bit more, and left a little bit more. So now we can go ahead and go forward. I'm going to go forward about 30, and I'm going to select the position to go back to 0, 0, which is the original spot. So now we should get an animation, but first we're going to check and see if that goes down perfectly. That looks good to me. So we can go and watch our animation. So we, right now we just get a text growing like that, but it doesn't look that smooth. So we can go ahead and select all the keyframes and change them to manual bezier. So now if we go ahead and watch our animation, it looks a little bit more smooth. But now we're going to select our keyframes and you can leave it exactly how it is, but I'm going to change it because it just, for like personal reasons, it just looks better like this. So we can go ahead and go into the value graph. And I'm going to select this so it comes in very fast. I'm going to do that for all of them. So now if we go ahead and watch our animation, we get something like this. Which I think looks very nice. So that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. My store and my website are back and open now. My store has some new prices and my website is completely updated with a portfolio and everything. If you really enjoyed this video, just 
please consider leaving a donation. It really helps out the channel to buy new equipment and make and keep these um, videos coming. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.